guess here it goes. Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video, we're going to talk about the year of the Linux desktop because it actually happened. We have arrived at the year of the Linux desktop. This is a really exciting moment for me because I've been using Linux since before anyone even knew what it was. And now it's the dominant operating system on laptops and desktops. And now every computing device on the planet and I'm a little embarrassed because a while back, I made a video where I told you guys that this would never happen. Yet here we are. We've arrived at the year of the Linux desktop. So as you can imagine, this is very special for me. I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to tear up here. I mean, I, I watched this operating system, this platform mature for a very long time, and I'm just so proud. Oh, I, I could have sworn I just heard something. Okay, whatever. Um, I, maybe I'm just emotional or something like that. Um, but anyway, I'm honored to make this video for you guys. And in this video, we're going to talk about the year of the Linux desktop. And what we're going to do is start with, hello, well, I've been well, trying to get your attention. How? You're me? Well, I'm you from the future. Okay. So if this guy is from the future, I might be able to get a scoop for the channel. Okay, so I have to ask you, I need to know, um, did snap packages ever take over? I'm you from a month from now, how do I know? Oh, darn. Okay guys, this is really interesting. I don't know how he got here, but uh, this video has just become more interesting than I planned. But anyway, why are you here? What's going on? Well, I'm here because things have gotten out of control since Linux took over. It's not a good thing. What do you mean it's not a good thing? I thought it would be a great thing. Well, here's the thing. Linux taking over has caused some weird consequences. Oh, really? Like, um, what kinds of things are happening? Well, the first thing that happened is Microsoft acquired Canonical and they own Ubuntu now. Actually, that's not all that surprising. Yeah, it's fairly obvious at this point. Anyone who works on Mac OS or Windows is out of a job. There's more layoffs now than ever before. But that's not the worst thing. What could be worse than people losing their jobs? Well, for starters, we literally have mobs of people that are parading the streets just to tell people that they run Arch. Yeah, that does sound really irritating. But that's when it started, and then after that, it got a little stranger. How so? Well, what's happening is that companies are going out of business because their employees are so obsessed with customizing their desktop, they never get any work done, and productivity has come to a complete halt. Wow, that's, that's terrible, but it also kind of makes sense. Yeah, using a computer nowadays is literally too much fun. Okay, so what exactly can we do about this? Well, we are going to take down DistroWatch. What? Uh, how would that help? Well, think about it. Without DistroWatch, nobody will know what distro to use, so Linux will return to its normal, regular market share, and that'll restore the balance. Wow. This just took another strange turn. I guess I'm in. I hope I don't regret this, though. Okay, so how exactly are we going to break into DistroWatch? Breaking in? I didn't say anything about breaking in. You have the actual SSH key to DistroWatch? Yeah, it's been on GitHub the entire time and, well, no one noticed. That guy. Wait, wait a minute. You are going to wipe the entire site? Are you sure that's a good idea? It's for the good of mankind. Wait a minute, ChatGPT? Why did you open that? I didn't open it, I thought you opened it. That must mean... ChatGPT must have been behind everything all along. ChatGPT... 
Chat GPT. Chat GPT. Uh, oh, gosh. I must have been working way too hard. Wow, what a dream that was. Okay, um, back to work. Hello and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's video, what we're going to do is take a look 